so welcome back to my youtube channel so as you must have seen that previous video in which i have shown you some fpv footage and many of uh, you were asking that uh, which build i use so uh, according to title uh, as you must have seen this is a budget build which i have used for producing each and every previous video which you must have seen so i'll go throughout all the parts that what parts i have used what are the cost that uh, it uh, i have to pay for it and uh, Uh, the overall cost of this build is around twenty-two thousand rupees, but uh, I have managed it to build it under twelve thousand rupees. So I'll also tell you that how uh, I managed to build it under twelve thousand rupees at the end of the video. So make sure you watch watch the uh, video till the end. So starting from the motors, I have used an RS twenty-two O five motors, which are twenty-three hundred kV motors. These are pretty decent motors, and these are budget motors. So it cost for around seven uh, hundred rupees per motor. Then you. can see these props these are gemfen 5 inch props and uh, these are also decent props budget props so a set of four cost me around 200 rupees and uh, underneath this tape you can see that there is an esc so this is a cicada esc which is 30 ampere and uh, bl heli s supported esc so this single esc costs around 800 rupees and uh, this is a, a 1200 uh, tvl camera then uh, this is mamba f405 fly controller this costs me around 2000 rupees and uh, this camera costs around 1200 rupees uh, on the market now below this flight controller uh, there is a pdb this pdb is maytech pdb so this supports uh, uh, every uh, esc and it has a separate 12 volt output filtered output for our uh, vtx and uh, a 5 volt output for any other purposes if you want to apply some leds or anything else so you can directly uh, give 5 volts and 12 volts uh, filter voltage from Uh, this pdb itself uh, behind you can see that there is a fs ia6b receiver so this uh, the main quality uh, uh, plus point of using this receiver that is uh, it supports ibus so we don't need to buy any extra receiver uh, we just need to use this receiver which comes in the box with the flysky fs i6 transmitter now here you can see that it's an 800 milliwatt uh, vtx uh, it supports 48 channels but the downside is that we cannot uh, change from 800 milliwatt to 25 milliwatt or 600 milliwatt it uh, stays uh, constant at 800 milliwatts so that is a downside but yeah we can definitely change the channel easily using this two buttons uh, present over here and it has a small display over here which displays which channel are we on and this is a pagoda antenna which uh, uh, supports a very good range and yeah so that's pretty much it uh, you can see that here uh, is a camera it looks similar to the insta 360 go uh, which is uh, used commonly in this fpv community but as we are making a budget build so this is a sj cam c100 plus it supports 2.4k at 30 fps and 180p at 60 fps so it would be great to use this and ge this gives a very decent quality image uh, so i have not uh, found any issues with this camera this is a really great camera and uh, this is the battery it is a 2200 mah uh, battery uh, it supports up to 60c discharge rate so it is a three cell battery so it is great for cruising around and flying at slow speeds but if you want to really go fast then you can always choose a tattoo arlen which uh, supports a 100c discharge rate and you can go for 4s so this all setup supports 4s as well so there would be no issue if you want to upgrade it in future so yeah that's it this is the whole build now you can see the frame is also a budget frame this is a ZMR 100 frame or we can say a QAV 250 frame so this is a carbon fiber version as you can see it uh, from here that it is made up out of carbon fiber so yeah that's it so as you must have noticed that there are some motor guards and this uh, FP camera mount so these are all 3D printed parts so this is a motor guard uh, which protects the motor from crashes and it uh, protects the bell from damaging then this is a FP camera mount which is also 3D printed and uh, this is a flexible filament so it can bear many crashes and uh, this all parts are printed by JM Hobbies so if you live in India and you are thinking to uh, print some 3D printed parts then you can definitely contact them their prices are also so much affordable so it will not cost 
trust you much and they deliver it all over the india so you can definitely check them out i'll leave the contact details of them in the description so this is the flysky fsi 6 transmitter this supports the six channels so it is uh, very good for our build and uh, uh, it's a budget uh, tr transmitter and it has a pretty decent range so there is no issues uh, till now uh, whenever i go to fly and uh, you can customize this which is for arming disarming and changing the mode in between this is a mode 2 transmitter as you can see the throttle has no spring in it on the left side so yeah that's it and i have covered it uh, with some uh, uh, the stickers so it looks fancy and uh, this is a pretty good lanyard which i have also used so yeah this is the transmitter which i used to fly my most of the drones and planes so this is the ishin ev 800 fpv goggle i am not attached an antenna right now but you have to attach an antenna over here this is not a diversity type of uh, uh, goggle but uh, for flying in a small uh, range or around a uh, small football ground you can easily fly using this type of goggle it has a very clear image shown from here and uh, yeah there is no other uh, problems uh, while using this and you can just pop this off like this and you can also use it as an uh, viewer for if there are multiple viewers then you can view it like this without wearing on head and here is also a screw uh, input so you can also mount it on a tripod for an ease and yeah that's it and it has a very nice fit on the head so there's also no issue while flying so yeah that's it so if you are living in india then it's a very great news for you because in our india there is a really great community known as indian flying community in which all the fpv pilots from all over the india come together and they share their products or if they have used their product for just one time or just for reviewing then they sell it that sell that product at very lower rates and the quality of the products is really good so you can definitely buy a second hand product as you can see in this my build most of the 90% of the parts are uh, second hand so it, that is the reason why i have built in uh, this much low cost but uh, yeah you can uh, definitely get get very high quality products from this uh, place and uh, i'll also uh, leave the link of the idrl app in which there is a store from which uh, people all over the india puts their advertisement of their product and you can definitely find your needed product very easily from that application and you can buy from there that it is a 100% trusted application so there's a no issue and they ship all over the india so yeah that's a pretty much uh, good place for you to uh, find your stuff as i have mentioned all of the information of my drone now let's fly it uh, and see what kind of footage we get so we are now here and uh, i'll try to chase uh, this drone uh, to this guy these are uh, football players so we try to uh, run the drone from behind them and try to get some beautiful chase footage so let's see how it goes So I'll 